All right, Shalom, Israel. This is the brother of Warba, Great Millstone Dallas, coming back to you again with another lesson. Um, before I kick it off, I'm gonna give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakha Kadash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to you, uh, hopeful elect that are out there doing this work in truth and sincerity to help build up the uh, house of David. So we can get the heck out of here, man. And today's topic, man, is really more or less just, you know, more or less just, um, you know, more of a various topic. But, you know, just some encouragement, man. You know, the Lord put this on my spirit to, you know, just put it on wax. Just how I've been feeling lately in the spirit that I've been in. And I know Akiyam that are out there that's toiling and that's doing this work and that is in this faith. You know, I know you go through it too. I know you're feeling the same thing. So, you know, hopefully this lesson will be edifying and comforting to you Akiyam that are, you know, enduring and going through, you know, everything in your daily life. <clears throat> so, of course, you know, waking up here in Babylon, you know, and knowing the things that we know. And the hell that is being put upon us, man, it can be very vexing and it can take a toil on, it can take a turn, you know, it's, it can take a toil on you or a toll rather, you know, it's like it for my words, you know, and it can put you in a state of mind to where you just, you're overwhelmed, you know, you're tired, you're beat, you feel like you're just destroyed, you never have enough of anything. And it just feels like there's always something fucking going wrong at every point and every turn. You got madness going on, you know, filth every damn where, pedophiles, and everything's abominable. And it's just, it just sucks to be in this state or in this condition, you know, in hell. You know, and as Israelites, you know, we got to go through the curses, man. We got to go through it. We got to serve this captivity, you know. But... You got to understand that having the hope and faith in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai is all we got, but that's enough. You know, not only are you doing the work week in and week out, whether it's your, your, your shows or you going out on the highways and the byways and making yourself a living sacrifice for the, you know, for the Lord. But man, you know, you got to continue to endure and to fight. You know, because you do have a shot to be delivered, man. And honestly, that having that faith and being delivered and getting all the promises in the kingdom, you know, that was written aforetime and it was promised to our people. Man, that's, you know, that's all I have and that's all we all have. That's all we have, you know. Why not fight for it? Why not give it everything you got? Because to stay here is going to equal death anyway. To stay here another 30, 40 years here in America is, is death anyway. Why not give yourself a fighting chance, man, and endure it to the end? Okay? And I know it's, you know, it's, it's difficult, and we all go through shit, man. We do. Okay, so I prepared a few scripts. Uh, the water to you, Akiyam, for uh, you know throwing some of those up just uh, in my in my camp, Great Millstone, Dallas. Okay, <clears throat> got one that the elder Yashwamba threw up. You no, know, I'm gonna bring this one out. It's Psalms 38 and eight, and this is David speaking. You know, and David was a very righteous king, man. You know, not he was one of the best to ever go through and endure. All right, but I'm going to bring this out. This is Psalms 38 and 8. Okay, I am feeble and sore, sore broken. I have roared by reason of the disquietness of my heart. You know, heck yeah, man. When you go through stuff, man, and you get skipped fed up, you get fed up to a point to where you just can't take it anymore, man. Just like a lion. You go through it, you got to roar out, man. You got to speak, you know. You got to vent. 
let it out. Get it off your chest. Okay? Verse 9. Lord, all my desire is before thee, and my groaning is not hid from thee. My heart panteth, my strength faileth me. As for my as for the light of mine eyes, it is also gone from me. Shit, David was going through hell. He was catching hell, man. But you know what? Confess that, man. You put that out there. You pray. That's through prayer, man. You pray to the Most High, man. Pray to Him and let Him know that you're going through hell, man. Pray for forgiveness. Repent. Also pray for mercy, man. You know? Because that's all you really going to have, man. It's hope, faith, prayer for mercy, man. Most High knows exactly what you need before you, I mean, before you even open your mouth. But still, you got to do it, man. Okay? Because we all catching hell here in this place, man. We're all tired of it. We're all sick. We're all hurt. You know what I'm saying? We're all broke, subject to payments. We all got to go through shit. All because of with all this hell that the so-called white man's putting on us, man. We can't even enjoy our families, you know, without the... So-called white man trying to rape our children and our, and, our, and our wives. You know, that's all hell, man. When you sit back and you think about that, that, at the end of the day, even the water that you drink has fluorides and poisons and contaminates and toxins in it. You know, you think about that. You think about the food that you eat. It's all genetically modified. There's nothing real. Everything's fake, man. And why would you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans want this to continue on? forever man why this place is terrible man okay now I'm not gonna sit on here and vent too long but you know this is something that needs to be talked about all right got another scripture this is wisdom of Solomon um, hold on a second Let me get out of that Move this around if I can, so I can. There you go, Wisdom of Solomon, the 14th chapter, 26th verse. Okay. It says, Dis Disquieting of good men, forgetfulness of good turns, defiling of souls, changing of kind, disorder in marriages, adultery, shamelessness, and uncleanliness. Okay, that's the shit. That's what we're going through right now, man. You know, these are some of the things that freaking, you know, vex us, man. We forget about the good times and things that we may have. Shit, because we always continuously going through hell, you know. So you got to continuously pray, fast, and pray for our big brother Yahweh to come back. So, you know, this can be completely, you know, done away with, man. He can end this hell that we're in. All right. But in order to do that, brothers, we got to put in the work. We got to continue to believe. We got to continue to have faith. You know, continue to read, build yourself up. Okay, I'm on my lunch break, so I, you know, I'm not gonna go too long with this, but I'm gonna end one scripture. That's gonna be in Second Thessalonians. Uh, so I can bear with me. There it is. Second Thessalonians. One and seven. <clears throat> I'm in two for some odd reason. It's like you. There it is. And this is what it reads. This is Second, Thess Second Thessalonians one and seven. And to you who are troubled, rest with us. When the Lord Yahweh shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels. In flaming fire, taking vengeance upon them that know not the Most High, and that know not God, and that obey not the gospel of our Lord, Yahweh Shah Hamasiah, who shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power. Man, that's what we all waiting for, man. That's what we all fighting for. Just to be able to see that day. It's going to be a beautiful day, man. Beautiful situation. All right. And so I'm going to end on that. I'm going to close on that. Again, brothers, continue to pray, have faith, and fast, and 
continue to endure, man, so that you can be saved and you can get the hell out of here. So I'm going to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakah Kadash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the elect. And you humble, sincere Aquath that are out there, that are subscribed. Until next time, this is Brother Warbot. I'm going to say Shalom.